Okay, so I have been getting a bunch of people in my comment section on both TikTok and YouTube Shorts telling me that my horse is cold when I leave her in negative five degrees without a blanket on. So I thought that today we could talk about some ways to actually tell if your horse is cold. My goodness, I can never get these freaking clips undone with gloves on. It's a freaking nightmare. Well, I can move your head up for a second. Thank you. All right, but before we can talk about how to tell if your horse is cold, we have to talk about two very important topics and terms that I feel that most horse owners don't actually know about, and that's a problem. So we're gonna talk about them. The first one is thermoregulation. Now you've probably heard this word before, regardless of whether or not you've heard it in a horse context. So thermoregulation is something that every animal does. It's an animal's ability to regulate their internal body temperatures. So just like humans, horses thermoregulate, which means that they are actually pretty commonly capable of keeping themselves warm without our help. Now the second term is one that I find that very, very few, yeah, I know it, pinches your chest. Very, very few horse people know, which concerns me, and that is called lower critical temperature or LCT. Are you out of food? No, you're not. You dropped like half of it on the ground. Hi. <laughs> See that? Eat it. It's got ulcer supplements in there. <laughs> So lower critical temperature is basically the coldest temperature that an organism can tolerate before they have to start changing things, whether that's a change to their environment, do they need to seek shelter, um, change to food, what they're eating, how much they're eating, or if they need a blanket. So lower critical temperature when it comes to horses is going to vary greatly depending on your horse's age, their health status, um, where they live. How long they've lived there? Are they acclimated to the temperature and the climate that they live in? Um, what breed are they? Do they grow a decent coat? Are they clipped? How clipped are they? Where have you clipped them? All of these different things. These all affect your horse's lower critical temperature. But we're going to talk about on average for horses that are used to cold climates. So on average, hi, I'm going to do your feet now, okay? So on average, a healthy adult horse that is acclimated to a cold winter climate like here in Canada where we live. Come on, good girl. That grows a good winter coat is gonna have a LCT of negative 15 degrees Celsius, which probably sounds crazy because you're like, I've never seen a horse that's not blanketed in that temperature. And that's because we tend to over blanket our horses. Good girl. So a horse like Polly is gonna have a lower critical temperature around negative 15, potentially even a little bit colder because of how nice of a fluffy coat she grows and because she's currently overweight. So she, you know, she's got a nice extra little layer of fat to keep her warm. So again, this is gonna vary greatly for all horses. Certain breeds aren't gonna have as low of an LCT. Um, certain horses just don't grow a very good winter coat and certain horses just aren't used to the cold temperatures, whether that's because, hey, they haven't lived in a super cold climate their whole lives, or you know, maybe they spend half the year in a colder climate and half the year in Florida, who knows. But a horse like Polly is gonna have an LCT pretty close to about negative 15 degrees Celsius, or even a little bit colder, considering that she's a draft horse. She grows a very, very thick coat, and she's currently overweight, so she's got a nice extra layer of fat to keep her warm. So that's your LCT, that's your lower critical temperature. So this is important to keep in mind because it means that most healthy adult horses that grow a nice winter coat that are used to cold temperatures can actually withstand negative 15 degrees without a blanket. Now this isn't, a, this isn't taking into account things like wind chill, that's something else you have to think about. So keeping in mind what your horse's lower critical temperature is, and again, this is gonna, it's an average and it's gonna vary quite a bit. Let's go back to thermoregulation. So, the number one way that horses thermoregulate is by consuming forage. So horses are hind gut fermenters, which means that as they digest things, they ferment everything in their hind gut. And horses actually produce heat by digesting things in their hind gut. So what you feed them is gonna affect greatly how much heat they're able to produce in their body. Hay is the number one thing that horses need to be eating in the winter and a lot of it and what kind of hay you're feeding is again going to greatly you know, affect how much heat they're able to produce. But feeding your horses forage is really important for their thermoregulation. Mm -hmm.